Shitsy Blackheart taps out to the boring bastards and ugly bastards in Ronda Rousey and Baszler. I don't get it. Ronda Rousey, Shayna Baszler. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to say they're pretty, but I mean, fuck me. Well, Ronda Rousey's pretty is kind of pretty, but I mean... Uh, Shayna Baszler's pretty <laughs> fucking ugly. Like. But like, why was WWE's obsession with making these chicks look as... as horrible as they can this horrible fucking eyeshadow makeup making them look like raccoons and like what the hell but anyway speaking of horrible Shotzi Blackheart made this match look horrible botch after botch after botch I've all, I, I've said recently she is the worst in-ring worker in the WWE today from a female standpoint and I, I think I've been proven right here one spot in particular she's standing on the top rope as if she's going to do a DDT onto the ring apron and she just completely flies off and Rhonda's head misses the, the apron by about fucking two feet and then Shotzi gets up and sell doesn't sell the move and just acts as if she actually connected with the move where in reality I mean Rhonda should have probably got up first because nothing happened to her I know I'm nitpicking here like but also, I mean, it, it felt like Shotzi was very overpowered, uh, taking the fight to Ronda and Shayna Baszler. Have you not noticed this though since Triple H's been booking? I feel like if someone's going to lose, they have to look strong no yeah. matter who it is. It, let's be real, right? It doesn't matter if Ronda Rousey turns heel, she's still an MMA fighter. She should still be kicking all these people's arses. And that's, that should have happened tonight, right? Ronda Rousey shouldn't need a fucking distraction for Shayna Baszler to beat Shotzi Blackheart. Same, same with Reigns against Logan Paul. It was the exact same shit. I mean, Rog Logan Paul should have lost to Reigns fucking fair and square. I would, I would, I would have had the match over in two minutes. But even if it's going to go long, have Reigns win. Why does Reigns, the supposed dominant New York champion for over two years, need help for the bloodline? But anyway, Ronda Rousey gets in the ring, does an arm drag off the top rope, Shotzi kicks out just for Ronda to hit Piper's pit and then lock in the armbar, taps out. Bit lacklustre finish there. No Raquel Rodriguez either. Raquel Rodriguez accompanied Shotzi to the arena tonight, but didn't come out for the match. And the numbers game... It ended up taking its toll, but I don't think Ronda Rousey should have needed a numbers game to beat Shotzi. Literally could have locked in the armbar in the opening 10 seconds and got the tap out. But yeah, she's still the champ, and I guess, I don't know who she's going to take on next. I'm guaranteeing this feud will not be going any further. Who knows, maybe we'll get the return of the boss, Sasha Banks. I think SmackDown needs somebody, because at the moment they've got pretty much nobody. There's nobody on SmackDown to challenge Ronda. Unless they bring Charlotte Flair back. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, this match fucking sucked. Till next time. Peace. Peace.